thinking of being a farmer scares me because the thought of being, you know, so far away from everything. There's a lot of stereotypes and um, other barriers that are not really enabling people to understand what agriculture is about. Yeah, technology and farming, I think, is only going to get stronger over the next five to ten years, and who knows where it's going to be in that ten years. It's actually so. it's a really exciting time in farming, I think. When I first think of farming, um, I think of, for some reason, I think of a bit of freedom, and I think of, um, I know, I know it probably it, it isn't all freedom because it'd be quite stressful and and hard work and, and everything. But I think there's something about being out in the land and um, yeah, work, working from the country would just give me a kind of a sense of freedom, I suppose. I have lived in Melbourne when I was doing some studies down there. I spent some time when I was working also in Melbourne. Um, yeah, look, agriculture is something that you need a lot of space, I guess, and uh, I had the opportunity to come home. And the challenge of farming I found uh, a little bit too alluring not to come down and give it a crack for myself. The farm's located north of Horsham in what we call the Wimmera, uh, which is one of the main grain, growing areas in Victoria. Well, to describe the Wimmera, I reckon it's a really nice place to live. It's quite cruisy, and um, to me it's got everything that anyone would want. The Wimmera is not isolating in any stretch though, because you are still only three hours from Melbourne, you're not far from Adelaide. It's a peaceful place to live, but there's lots of opportunity to have a great time. There's lots of recreation, sport, so it's best of both worlds, really. Yeah, I've... I've played a bit of sport in my life and I guess a lot of country people play sport to be social as well. Football, that's probably one of the major ones. Uh, football club. Football club. Especially football club. I'm a footy mum, woohoo. <laughs> Every sport I think is, is nearly catered for these days. Mm. Used to be your basic uh, football, tennis, cricket during the summer but it's branched out now into all your, all your other sports. Um, there's hockey, volleyball, you name yeah. it. And then, uh, yeah, then, you, then you go into water sports, you get skiing, swimming. Darts. Anything. Mm. Pool. Mm. Yeah. Table tennis. You can do it. Mm. Yeah, you can do it. Air yeah, hockey. We're very fortunate to be located such to a, uh, to a close regional centre, being Horsham. And um, from there we've got access to a lot of different marketing options, as well as machinery and service um, suppliers. So... Things such as agronomy, which is one of the things that drive agriculture, um, I can get access to professionals from the government as also private sector. And then on the marketing side, we've got access to national railways, national highways, as well as packing companies that um, pack grain to go overseas. So where we are, we're very fortunate to have so many opportunities. Look, there's a lot of things in agriculture. You don't have to be a farmer per se to be involved in agriculture as well. Uh, it's probably the big misnomer that you have to own land to be a farmer. Um, the service industry has been one of the biggest growing industries in agriculture over the last 10 years. Whenever I'm back in the city and I'm catching up with friends or I meet new people and that sort of thing, and the question always comes up, so what do you do? And you say, oh, well, I'm an agronomist. And everyone goes, oh, that's, I don't know what that is. He's sort of like a, basically a farm advisor, I suppose, but you come up with uh, like nutrition programs and pest management programs and stuff just to advise farmers on the best practices they want to do to, for their farming enterprise. So, uh, it's all sorts of different things, like from holistic farm planning, soil testing, tissue testing, all the way to like crop monitoring and guidance throughout the years. On our, on our tractors, um, we have both auto steer, which we use GPS for, but also have for, for plotting points. So we have satellites that they move throughout the, throughout the world. We have a GPS receiver on the tractor, so it either tells it where it is or, or guides the tractor to, to go somewhere. A friend of mine did robotics. Like I looked at farmer unions, he looked at robotics. So the machine completely drove itself. They didn't need an operator to steer it. They just pressed the button, the farmer came out in the morning or the, the guy just came out, um, they filled it up, made sure everything was right, set it going, and it just worked on one side of the paddock while they did something else. 
And that's the level of technology we're getting to. The robotic side of it's really exciting. Like imp implementing precision agriculture in the farm system not only helps like what Josh is talking about with yields and actually growing better crops, but sort of helps in family life as well, like less hours on the tractor and best like more time for social activities, which you know helps helps morale and all that sort of stuff, which is really good. Our local watering hole would be called the Doom Pub, or fondly known as the Doozer. <laughs> Doozer. Doozer. I think the Doozer got voted the second best pub in Australia in a magazine. I was um, very surprised. We um, had no idea we'd actually been uh, voted. Uh, someone walked in with a magazine and said, Mick, have you seen this? And uh, it almost blew me away. I think the one that won it actually got burnt down, so it's, I think it's the best pub in Australia voted. Yep, number one. Yeah. Go Mick. What well on Mick? <laughs> the people. You know, the local people. Um, whether it's your mates who are up the road and they pop in, they might pop in every day to see you and say good day and have a, a squash on their way home. Um, yeah. Stories, I've never heard so many stories in my whole life. <laughs> it's always a story or a joke. Yeah. It's a, it's a great area to go rock climbing. I've done a bit up there, but it's not my, not my piece <laughs> never of cake. Been yeah, rock climbing I did say. So. At school, we did an outdoor ed at school. People I live with, they've always got good stories and good jokes and. Um, yeah, just brilliant. <laughs> I, I do love that. Climbed up, they thought I was a freak. <laughs> I said I looked like a gecko. <laughs> <laughs> the people in the Wim are all, all friendly. I found when we first came up here, I was sort of a bit, you know, oh, you know how we're going to get on with everyone and that. But everyone up here is just really friendly. You get along with anyone. There's people from all sort of parts of Australia and the world that that are, are living in Horsham um, and it's it's that way that that they're accepted and um, invited to come and, and live in the community it's sort of you don't have to be living in Horsham long to, to have your say and stuff like that so it, it's quite a strong community in that sense. Mm. Anyone's in a bit of trouble or a bit of strife like if I need something uh, mates up the road the farmers or whatever they'll just come in yeah Mick in, this is what you need to do and all that sort of thing. Here you go, and off and off you go. The, it's like having, um, yeah, open mateship in your in your area. It's 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 hard to describe. It's pretty good. Careers in agriculture once again get hit by that stereotype of the old McDonald farmer a lot. Um, when in reality, there's everything from a technical side of it to just a pure labouring side. So when you say opportunities in agriculture, it's just not out in the field, it's also in labs, it's in technical facilities where they make the GPS systems, it's um, engineering such as welding to make the machinery, there's a lot of avenues for agriculture. Opportunities for younger people, absolutely, there's um, that many construction jobs going on around here, um, farming, just growing and growing in the area. You come in with an open mind and willing to have a crack and really learn. And grow and have a fun job. I think um, anybody can do it, um, but the main thing would be there to, to be willing to learn and be willing to sit back and listen and, and grow a strong friendship with a lot of farmers and a lot of people in the business. Go out and have a go. Have a go. The farmers, look, if you go out there with no knowledge at all, most farmers are happy to teach you what they know because that, they love it. Like, most farmers are really passionate about what they do. So teaching someone else about what, what you're passionate about is just you know, it's natural, like you love it, so get out, have a go, you'll learn heaps and sort of, you know.